What's up guys, my name is Tree from Tree Lou Films. I'm a videographer out of Northern California, the Bay Area. Today, I'm gonna go over an exciting product that I received about two weeks ago. This is the Tilta Pro Kit full cage for the Sony A7S III. It comes with a top handle and also a side power handle. You get the base as well, and I'll show you all of that content. The main question is, is this kit worth it for your job? Hopefully I can answer that question by the end of this video. Let's dive right in. All right guys, what's in the box? You get the full cage. This comes in black, gray, and tactical gray. I picked up the tack gray. A bunch of 3 8 and quarter inch connections pretty much everywhere on this cage. You have one rosette connector on the side, a 15 millimeter rod uh, slot right here. So you can add in another rod that shoots right out. Um, to connect maybe a follow focus or something. On the side by the hand grip, I do like the design where it's molded into your palm so the metal of the cage doesn't rip off your palm one day and make it bleed. I like this, this is very smooth. They send this baby down. Perfect. The record button is not obstructed by the metal bar. It has a good um, protection point across the top of the camera, the side of the camera, and the bottom. Nothing is in the way. It's just nice and tight. A little detail right here, if you can tell. This little metal thing comes out, and you can use that to, you know, screw your screws and whatnot in. Because having a quarter in your pocket all the time isn't very cool until you drop it and you lose it. So. Bonus point to Tilda. Now next, you have your top handle. Very military. It reminds me of like, I don't know, a brass knuckle, um, the way it's designed. Some people might complain that it's not rubberized and it's not soft for you. Well, you have hands, bro. Hopefully you don't need soft stuff in your hands all the time. Use the metal ones, totally fine. Bonus point, low side connection for your other rod that she's threw aside. The little Spartan helmet design up front, or I don't know, a halo design from the game. It's kind of cool. Bunch of connections everywhere. Coach up front, coach in the back. Um, yeah, to connect, it's pretty straightforward. If you have hands, you have fingers, and you have eyes, you know exactly where to go. Just tighten it down. There we go. You can run around with that full cage and a top handle just like that. But there's more. You have a powered side handle for the side. Slip it on, tighten it down. On the power handle, you can connect, you can put in an MPF 550-570 battery. This is a generic one from Amazon, pretty cheap. So I've been using that. Bam, it locks right in. You have a USB connection right there. Also at the top of next to the record button, right there somewhere, there is a light indicator. So when you press record and it's connected to your camera and the camera is recording, the light indicator comes on. Um, little details, there we go. Next, we have the bottom base. The bottom base has the two rods on it already. Um, it does come with the two rods. You can always buy longer rods if you want to but pretty much straightforward. You have the lock lever in the back, the release lever on the side. If you ever need to use this pro kit in a corporate setting, corporate shoot, outside shoot, where you're sitting on a tripod, you can just leave this on a tripod, or if you wanna run around with it, um, that's up to you. But for me, this will stay on my tripod. Pretty easy to connect. You just slide the bottom base of the cage into the slot. Oh man, why? There. Bam, my bad. Um, it's easy, it's just being dumb. And then <laughs> you lock it by sliding it. Unlock, slide that off. Release, low lever, push it up, slide the camera out. Now, straight to the point. Is this pro kit worth it? Is it worth it for what you do? Um, for me, personally, this pro kit is worth it. It is $389 off the Tilda website. But trust me, when you are starting out and you just wanna build your pro kit 
your full rig out, you're gonna spend so much money on random stuff and it builds up. The cool thing about this kit, everything you need is here. Your rods, your bottom base, a very cool side handle, power side handle with that extra function the record button. The cage alone is nice. Um, you can build out with the cage alone. If you want to start out slowly, just pick up the full cage, pick up the top handle if you want, or just pick up the full cage and just use that. The ecosystem from Tilt Hut will give you the opportunities to build it out over time. There are so many possibilities where I can rig this out to like look like a crazy monster or just keep it nice and compact. For me, right now, I don't have any corporate shoot lined up because, you know, pandemic. But when I'm shooting car stuff for my other company, this cage is on my camera 100% of the time and this camera sits on the Ronin 99% of the time. There we go. So to me, it's totally worth it when I'm shooting interviews and I need my matted box to follow focus. Also the monitor, I will attach this full kit to it. No question asked. There we go. Made it quick, made it simple for this video. No fluff to it. Um, this is the Tilda Pro kit for your Sony A7S III. Check it out on our website. I will drop the link down in the description box below if you like this video. Press a like. If you don't like it, leave a comment and be like, hey, Tree, do better next time. Well, I just wanna keep it simple, keep it clean, be blunt about the stuff I use. There's no fluff to it at all. Everything I buy, I use. I used to buy stuff that I don't use because they're junk. It just, I just buy stuff. Now it's just like, you know, you get older, you get wiser and money's very important in life. So you buy what's important, what you need. This is important to me right now. This is what I need right now. Ask yourself, do you need this? Do you want to check it out? Check it out. They also offer half cages as well. Those half cages are dope. I have it somewhere in this house. Um, I just haven't using it because I've been using a full kit. Well, I'll catch you guys next time on the next video if I make a next video. If not, catch me online. I'll see you guys around. Peace.